years ago in the early mists of, of Baronial history, we had quite a few fighters. Back then there weren't quite as many events as there are now. So new fighters were coming in from the universities that, we, that were in the city. It was hard to get them authorized sometimes. And we thought, you know, it would be really nice if we could just do authorizations at our fighter practices like the folks in, in Forgotten Sea can do with all the nearby groups that have marshals. That would sure make life easy because the rules say you have to have a marshal from another group. Well, a few of us, Master Migram and Mr. Olga and Sir Nathan and I, sat around thinking, if only, you know, there's an awful lot of us who live in this tiny little concentration out in West County, uh, in, in Crestwood and Kirkwood, and we said, what if that was a group on its own? What if we were a Shire or a Canton that was part of the Barony? Then we could be marshals, and we could go to our baronial fighter practices, and nothing would have to change. We'd just have to fill out a few reports. <laughs> And I know from experience, if you can just fill out the same report over and over and over again and send it in. And no one really looks at it very carefully, Wayne. Don't tell my officers that. <laughs> well, I, I, I could tell your officers that, but I've seen those reports that come in and say, wow, this happened six years ago, they're still talking about it. <laughs> so we said, well, we said, we'll just form our own little group here. That'll be no problem. But we'll need a name. And we started looking at the names of famous groups and like Flaming Griffin, that's, oh, that's yeah. cool. You know, the, the March of the Unicorn. The, all these, you know, the Iron Tower, we're going, wow, how can I, you know, survive with these kind of, wait a minute, if we have a name like that, people are going to expect stuff of us. <laughs> <laughs> we need something a little less pretentious. So we said, looking at the maps, we're going, we need something that sounds like, well, more like some of the real names, you know. Look at these little things like Milford and, you know, and Woodcross. It's like, those are just little simple names. How about a Ford? We have the Merrimack here. We could be Puddleford on the Merrimack. Which, of course, as, as names we want to do over the, over the years, it got shortened to Puddleford on Merrick. And in time, the little sign that we made laid in the backyard for so many years that Merrimack fell off completely. <laughs> so we were down in Puddleford. And we went to the Baron and said, Your Excellency, we have a plan. It is a cunning plan. It is far too clever to fail twice. <laughs> and uh, Baron Cormac looked at us and said, uh, this is a fine plan, except for your little proposed shire includes my seneschal, my marshal, my herald, and my exchequer. <laughs> well, what if we get rid of some of those? Well, we can't, because they're all in two houses. <laughs> like, so Puddleford kind of sat forgotten for, for many years until a time for attorney was to be held. He said, there's this open field. And I understand there'll be a lot of people there. And if we build some buildings now, everyone will remember it as Puddleford for years thereafter. And they won't be able to really claim that Puddleford isn't real. <laughs> so over the course of some weekends, we came out and built the buildings for uh, the, the turning of the 12th century. And it, so we are now set. We are all ready to start doing our own authorizations with our own marshals as soon as we convince someone to move into one of those buildings full time. <laughs> <laughs>